Oh, look who it is. <laughs> Got tired of Goldie. Yeah, he can get kind of greedy. And I told you, I'd keep you safe. But I can't get out of this pond for too long. That is unless I have something. A little charm. It's a silver ring. Now, I can see you thinking to yourself, but where am I going to find this charm? Well, it's in that old looking box over there. You see, I can't open it, because years ago, some mage felt I shouldn't be able to leave this pond, so he stole it from me, and put it there, with a bit of magic on it, so I can't open it. Why did they? Well, uh, they kind of stole some of the apples from their orchard. But the point is, with that ring, I can stay in human form and can leave this pond for good. So, will you do that for me? I mean, I did protect you. And you only have to open a box and get me that ring. And I did mean what I said. You're quite good looking. Oh, well thank you. I don't look near as handsome when I'm not human looking. That is unless you like horses covered in algae and grime with blind looking eyes. Yeah, I'm with you on that. A cute red headed lad with blue eyes suits me. Now then, if you just get me that ring, I can hop out of this pond and help you find your way back home. Wonderful. Now can you bring that back over here? Thank you. Now if you just come a bit closer, so you can give me the ring. But you have to do it willingly. It's a part of the magic. Thank you so very much. Now then, I think Auric will still be sleeping for a bit, so we can talk. But, we have to go soon. He may wake up sooner than I think. You never know with him. Oh, <laughs> you want to know about me and Auric? Well then, we first met years ago when I was nothing but a wee little kelpie. Auric's human form may look young, but he's way older than me, that's for sure. So... On with the story, me and Auric met when he was flying around, trying to find the cave. As you know, his cave is not far from here. And when he found it, he swooped down and told me to clear off. I told him I couldn't. <laughs> that was the first time I got to see Auric grumpy and he told me, then stay away from my home. I do not wish for you to ruin it. And then some threat about how he boiled the pond away and flew off. Well, I'm very happy you picked me over Goldie. One as nice as you deserves someone who won't be well like him to you. I mean, that... But, well, I... We should get going. It's just... I used to know someone that gave me this ring and... You remind me of him. It was a gift. So I could be with them. They were a mage. 
and that other mage was their rival. They got the idea for the ring from a book. But let's forget that for now. We need to get going. Let's just hope when Goldie wakes up he won't be burning any towns down trying to look for you. Oh, he has before. Let me tell you on the way out of these woods. And not far from these woods is a town I hear is having a celebration. They're finally unbanning mages in it. They say the ruler had a change of heart overnight or something. Well then, that town it is.